To launch, this crescendo of storms relies on tiny raindrops and puddles of cold pools. A wave of clouds gathers over the equatorial Indian Ocean every 30 to 60 days, the first signs of a crescendo of storms heading east. These storms are part of the Madden-Julian Oscillation, MJO for short. The MJO affects the weather worldwide, from monsoons in Bombay to blizzards in Boston. How does it start? Scientists at DOE's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory found that a simultaneous buildup of moisture a few miles above the Earth's surface and a strong upward motion lifting moist air from the ocean creates the first anvil-shaped storm clouds. The tiny raindrops from the first shallow storm clouds evaporate quickly and cool the air, creating cold pools that sink to the surface, forcing warm, moist ocean air at their edges upward creating the large anvil-topped storms. Rising radiative energy from the surface warms and lifts the air column and gets trapped by the storm's anvil tops, perpetuating their existence until they reach the cooler Central Pacific. There, they pick up speed as dry waves and head eastward around the world. When they again reach the Indian Ocean, another episode of the MJO begins. Scientists at PNNL are refining predictive models and making discoveries that show how the MGO affects polar vortexes and other extreme events around the world.